One of the things we want to discuss today is some of the advantages of having a remanufactured crane over a used crane because if you're spending your company budget on buying a experienced crane and your, your budget just does not include the multi hundred thousand dollar expenditure for a new unit uh, the last thing that you want to do is spend a great deal of money purchasing a crane and then get it in your facility and find out that you need a five-figure repair and so some of the things that we do here at Carry Deck Cranes is we disassemble these cranes right down to their basic components so that we can assure you that the components have either been checked and found to be within specification or they are replaced uh, at the time of overhaul. And so what we have in front of us here today is a IC80 crane, a Broderson IC80, from which the boom, the turret, and the hydraulics have been removed. And this big ring that you see here in front of you is what's called the swing bearing. Now this is what the turret sits on and when you swing the whole boom assembly and everything all of the load is placed upon this large bearing right here and of course as you can imagine if this bearing is loose or it's worn out or it's corroded it can be an extremely expensive repair uh, on the order of ten thousand dollars and upwards when you include the cost of the bearing itself as well as labor and so on and so forth but here at Carry Deck Cranes all of our booms are removed um, and so once the boom is removed, the hydraulics are removed, the turret is removed, this bearing is exposed, and at that point we can do a visual inspection on the bearing and make sure that this uh, radial seal here is intact because this rubber seal here that goes all the way around the edge is what keeps the grease inside the bearing. The next thing we can do is make a determination as to whether the bearing has been maintained, and then also with the bearing exposed the way that you see it is now, we can place a dial indicator on it and find out what the clearance is in the bearing by loading and unloading the bearing. Now this particular bearing has been found to be within specifications and so it'll be cleaned up a little bit and lubricated and uh, if it was not found to be within specifications we would remove this bearing and we remove a lot of swing bearings probably 70 percent of the cranes that come through our shop the swing bearings are not within specification due to lack of maintenance and so we would remove this bearing take all these large bolts out of here remove this bearing which weighs about 320 pounds and send it back to the original equipment manufacturer for remanufacturing to make sure it was back within specs. So when you get one of our cranes in your plant, you're gonna know that you're not gonna have a crane inspector come to you at your next annual inspection and say, Mr. Smith, Mr. Jones, you're going to need a new turret swing bearing and that's going to set you back 10, 15, $12,000, whatever it happens to be. So we would like to, uh, to help you to understand that this is a very important and basic part of this piece of machinery and it is something that we take a great deal of care to make sure is, um, is within specification.